This is one of the fastest external drives on the market. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here and I'm looking at this today. This is crazy cool. This is the Samsung X5 portable SSD drive. SSD drive's a little redundant, but roll with me here. This is crazy fast. This is probably the fastest device on the market right now. This is the 500 gig version. It also comes in one terabyte and two terabytes, and it's mighty expensive compared to a regular hard drive because it's anywhere from 10 to 25 times faster. We're gonna run some speed tests and you're gonna be sitting there with your jaw on your lap and you're gonna say, oh yeah, I need one of these. But the way it works, what makes this different is that Samsung's using NVMe um, memory for this. So it's super duper fast. It's up to 40 gig per second transfer rates. I didn't see quite that when I was running some tests, but it requires a Thunderbolt 3 cable. You've got to use the one that's included or one from another vendor if you want to use something else, but it has to say Thunderbolt 3 on it. If you use the wrong cable, when you go to plug this into a Macintosh, for example, you just get an error message. That will make you sad, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it is compatible with Mac and Windows, but you need a pretty high-end machine to be able to drive it. Check your specs, check them against Samsung specs before you buy one of these. Some people have not done so, and they've been very disappointed or frustrated, understandably, right? So when you plug this in, I'm going to look at it on the Macintosh side. When you plug it into a Mac, you should be able to go to Hardware Report, which is off your About This Mac, and you should be able to see in the Thunderbolt section, as shown, that it's showing up as a Thunderbolt drive. You have basically two options. Either it's going to work or it's not. So you'll never have it work on a slower speed because it requires that Thunderbolt 3. But super easy to work with, right? So you plug it in. It needs no external power or anything. Plug it into on this particular MacBook Pro. This is a 2019 MacBook Pro. So all four USB-C are also Thunderbolt, four, or Thunderbolt 3. So that makes that easy. Some devices might have specific ports that are for Thunderbolt and others that aren't. If so, generally the manufacturer will indicate with a little lightning bolt and a three or something like that. So know your hardware because that's gonna make a difference too. Now, the measured speed they say you should see, and I love the red, so I'm gonna show that side. <laughs> You should see up to 2,800 megabytes per second read and 2,300 megabytes per second write. Now, I'm a big fan of testing rather than just talking about the in manufacturer's specs, so we'll do that. Again, just hang on a second. So, it's a full metal body. There are no moving parts in this. That's right, it's an SSD. So, the bottom is also interesting. So, this is a non-slip bottom and it's shock resistant. But more interestingly, there's a big piece of metal in the middle, and that's what they call their DTG heat sink. So that's dynamic thermal guard, because one of the issues with these sort of devices is they can get really hot, but the DTG system makes it so it's never gonna be super hot, which is good, because if you're really pushing hard on this, it's definitely using some power there. So. Um, you can set it up with password protection. You can do AES 256-bit hardware encryption if you want, or you can do none of that. Uh, Three-year limited warranty, but again, no moving parts. This thing should last a really long time. Great. Let's run some tests. So first thing I want to show is, and I'm going to just let's switch you to my screen so you'll be able to see what's going on, but first I want to copy a file to and from the drive. Now, it's tricky to do that test because there's file buffering involved and caches involved. So the file that I'm copying, I'm gonna start with doing one from the drive to the computer, and then I'll do a different file back onto the drive. So let's jump on and look at that screen. So we're gonna start with the slower of the two, which is writing. Now, generally speaking, writing is slower on any device than reading for various <laughs> physical reasons. But in this case, it's not gonna be a whole lot slower. But here's what I'm doing is I'm copying a file on, and this file is 48 gigabytes. That's a really big file. Now, normally, if you were copying that onto an external drive, you'd probably be thinking that it's time to go grab lunch or something, because it's gonna take a mighty long time. But you know what? 
it doesn't really take a super long time with this. Now it's still, you know, gonna take a minute or so, but look at how fast that increments on how much data is being copied across. This is super fast. It's really, really fun because you're probably, like me, used to slower drives. And now that it's done, let's do the faster one. Let's copy data from the drive onto my computer. So that's a read operation. And this one is just like shockingly fast. So again, another 48 gigabyte file, and it doesn't take very long at all until it's copied onto my computer and the whole process is done. I mean, I'm just so impressed by this, but hey, that's just a user test, right? Let's run a speed test. So I have something called the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. And what it looks at is it looks at how fast a drive is and then grades it against some really, really demanding video editing programs. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch that. So now we're looking at Blackmagic and I'm gonna choose the correct drive, which is always important. And now we're gonna just start the test and it's just glorious. I've never tested something and had all green checks. This needs a lot of bandwidth, a lot of data throughput for it to give green check marks for everything. And it is absolutely saying this is crazy, super fast. You are totally good with anything you wanna use this for, including 4K video editing live. So with all of that, you can see this is just really pretty glorious. It's just a really great drive. Now it is a little spendy, not crazy expensive. I mean, if you're someone who needs this level of power, then this is an entirely logical investment. But boy, it's really great to be able to actually use that Thunderbolt 3 speed because it is a super fast connection. So let me talk about the price, but before we get there, I'm gonna ask if you can subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate when you do that. Great, it's just that little button on the bottom, just tap or click and you're subscribed, easy enough. So, all right, so let's get here. This with the groovy red bottom and the sleek business-like gray top is the Samsung X5 Portable SSD and it comes in 500 gig, one terabyte, and two terabytes. The price breaks down as 500 gig will cost you $219.99, one terabyte is $399.97, and two terabytes is $695.49. And boy, if you need this, this is a smart investment because it's just glorious. It will make everything you're doing that involves touching your drive faster definitely worth checking out. All of that's at amazon.com and I am really glad to have this. Even just the 500 gig size is just really game changing. It's so fast. So hope this has been helpful and I will catch you in my next video.